Motors YouTube. What's going on? Mike here, back with another. You know I gotta ride every day, man. <laughs> Today I'm just going around the neighborhood real quick. Um, since I, don't, I think I've been riding all along with my top speed, <laughs> my speed how it was. So I just want to see um, what type of speed I get today with um, with the 105 main jet. I definitely can get a higher RPM so yeah definitely feels a lot better with this jet in my top speed has been 64 so far with this bike but I feel like I can jet it a little better and you know it's still pretty new but um yeah so I think I definitely can jet it a little better than what it is but um, it definitely gets up. You know, I don't expect this thing to do 70 regular. Top speed will probably be 70 when I get it right. But 65, I'm cool with 65, honestly, on this thing. It feels really good. But yeah, I wanted to get out and ride this thing. I've been meaning to ride my X22R, but um, it's just been... Uh, I didn't change the CDI out yet from... The, uh, the race, the performance CDI. Well, supposedly the performance CDI. So, once I uh, change that out, then I'll start riding again because I like when my speed is, is accurate. I'm probably going to do that tonight. Change it out real quick. Um, and then probably get to ride it tomorrow or another day. But I haven't rode this thing in a minute. This thing definitely has power for the street, you know, definitely a street type of bike, you know, but definitely going to plan to do some more off-roading with it a little bit. Yeah, man, but this thing gets, this little thing feels so much better since I rejetted it. But yeah, once I break this thing in, you know, in, in, it'll probably get me up to 70, hopefully 75, but like I said, I don't need to do that on this thing, man. So yeah, it was pretty much raining all day. So I really couldn't, I'm, I'm lucky I was able to get this ride in. Um, as you can see, it's been wet, you know. Been just, you know, cruising. And um, yeah, didn't plan on going far today, but you know, anytime I get out on the ride, I just hit record. It's just, it's become second nature to me now, you know? And um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start going on little journeys, finding places to take pictures, hopefully not getting lost. But if I do, hey, that's just part of the journey, right? Um, still got things to do to this bike as well. I love having projects. I love always having things to do. Um way I never get bored, you know? <laughs> but yeah, one thing, this is my second favorite bike. Only because, um, you know, my X22R, I love that bike too, don't get me wrong. But the seating position, just like, it's like riding a dirt bike for the street, you know? It's, I like the upright position. It feels really good. So I'm going to try to see if I can get the aftermarket speedometer for it. I'm going to do some research on it. Just uh, the digital one, just to have it. So I don't always have to have my phone. I mean, I don't mind having my phone as a GPS. Uh, especially for this bike. I definitely don't mind. But um, more to come. For the people who do follow this bike or do like this bike, I think on my channel, um, this is probably the least out of my four bikes. This one is the least that people really know about. I don't want to say like because a, a lot of people like it, but they don't know about it as much as the X22R or the um, the uh, X18 or 
as their Chinese name referred to them as DF250 RTS or the DF50 SST but you can call them either way they're the same bikes so yeah lately I've been getting out a lot later cuz work has been picking up uh, been busy and you know like I always say you got to get it while it's good you know you gotta when those jobs come in you got to get them yeah but this little thing picks up speed pretty quick too you know for a 250 you know but I've, I've uh, some people have left comments saying they've gotten it up to 75 and stuff like that and um, if you watch um, uh, uh, Jeff from P Sports he did a video on the top speed and I think he got 70 on it so and that's stock nothing done to it yeah it's still wet out here man but man it feels good riding at night man nice cool weather it's not too hot So yeah, would I recommend a 250 for somebody's first bike? Definitely. Definitely. I mean, for some people, depending on where you're at, that's all you really need, honestly. If you don't get out, if you don't do any highway driving, then you're probably good with a 250. You know, like really. And it really gets up in traffic. Like, I can get out in front of people. I mean, I'm not like my bigger bike, but I can still get out in front of people, you know? Yeah, torque is definitely king. Shout out to, uh, to you, Josh, man. Because <laughs> it definitely is, man. guys about to take it on in just wanted to uh, get a quick little ride in and I can't wait to really uh, break this thing in I got to give it another oil change I'll probably do a video on that just to show people how how I do it Look at the moon Top speed 65, all right. So, new top speed 65. <laughs> oh man. But yeah guys, appreciate y'all again. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with another one. Peace.